everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing very very well today i have a primark haul it hasn't been too long since i filmed my last one i think i did one i think the previous one was last month um so maybe these are becoming a monthly thing again who knows? Um, but if you're new around here, I thought I would say a quick hello. My name is Patricia and I upload videos weekly. Um, I do a lot of fashion videos, personal style, um, you know, a little bit of lifestyle and travel in there too. Basically just sharing with you my very big shopping habit. I do a lot of shopping, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, and also sharing a couple of tips and tricks and ways to wear different pieces and sort of how to update your wardrobe um, season upon season and things like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, then it would be lovely if you subscribe to my channel. So please do hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. It would absolutely mean the world and I would love to have you on board. So I popped into Primark yesterday. I like filming these like pretty much instantly because I know the good stuff in Primark goes so quickly. So as soon as I get like a really good haul, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to share with everybody. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. But I thought I would give a quick mention as well to a couple of bits that I got when I went for brunch with Primark. Um, it was a really lovely event. We got to see some of the upcoming spring summer pieces, which is partially why I keep popping into store every now and again, because there were some amazing bits which are literally going to be launching from like now until the end of May or like mid-May um so I'm very excited to start seeing some of those pieces hit the hit the hit the shops um but there are already some of them that I have seen so I thought I would share the little goodie bag so our goodie bag was very cute and it was this really cute bag and I know that this is definitely in store because I saw it yesterday when I popped in and I love this I can't tell you the price though because this one doesn't have a tag and I stupidly didn't check in store but I imagine it will be between the eight to ten pounds and what I love about this is that at the front you've got these really cute tassels very summer very nice but then turn it around and it's blank so you kind of have two bags in one as far as I'm concerned and I think that's very cool you know if you want something a little more classic you can go for this side if you want a little more fun you can just turn it around um very good if you're going on holiday and you sort of want it to look like you've got one more than one bag like in the photos and things like that this is a really great way to do that for super cheap inside there are a few goodies as well most of these are summer pieces that are going to be coming soon or some that are in store if I've seen them in store I'll let you know that I've seen them if I haven't seen them then you'll know that they'll be coming soon from like now until may so do keep your eyes peeled starting off with something i did see in store and that is these novelty straws now this is a pack of four this is from the primark home range and these are only one pound fifty so they're so inexpensive and they've got a lime a watermelon a strawberry and a lemon very cute little straws to add to like pimp up your summer drinks i'd say i really really like that and i think i might actually buy more of those if i ever have like a summer barbecue or something like that because i think it'll be quite cool just a nice little way to add to some little drinks we also got given little bikini bags which i love i absolutely love this idea these were £1.50 and they're bikini bags because the inside is basically completely plastic so there's no like lining in there or anything like that it's just literally almost like a wet bag when you're on holiday i know you don't often get the time to um like wash your bikinis and things like that particularly if you're just going away for like a week or something you're obviously not gonna like wash all your clothes whilst you're away um so this is really really good to keep all your bikinis i imagine um once i use my bikinis and they're sort of wet and i want to like repack them to bring back home and um, this is going to be a really good place to pop them in and just keep them if they do have any dampness in there to not make the rest of my clothes damp but I really like this, this idea I feel like a bikini bag yeah good good idea Primark they also popped in an eye mask and I've been loving eye masks at the moment this one is two pounds and it's got dreamer embroidered around the front and of course a little summer goodie bag wouldn't be complete without some glasses so first off this glasses case which is so nice I really like it it's very shimmery it's very in your face but I'm all here for that you definitely won't lose this in your bag that's for sure and this is two pounds and then in there are some sunglasses these are three pounds again I did spot these in store already so you can definitely pick these ones up they are a mirrored lens which I think is quite cool um, and I, w I did think that they would be like a little bit too oversized for me, but actually I think they work quite nicely. Onto a couple of accessories as well, which actually came in this little pouch. Now this pouch again doesn't have a tag or a price or anything, so I don't know whether 
um, this could potentially be like a part of a set or just like a little sort of see-through wallet but either way it's pretty good and I can't imagine it being more than like £1.50 maybe but onto the best bit and I think these are going to be spring summer's tassel earrings so a couple of haul videos ago, maybe even my last one, I'm not too sure, but I shared with you some of the tassel earrings that I'm sure if you're a fan of Primark, you have probably seen them because they were literally available in every single color. Like they were so good and they were so inexpensive. But this season, we've got these little ones coming through. They're only £1.50, which is even more inexpensive than the last ones. But I love them. I love that they're gold. Like I'm a huge fan of gold jewelry. And I just think, oh, these will look so nice. I love a yellow earring as well. I think they look really nice. Number one with a tan and number two with a red lip. It's sort of a bit of color clashing, but I absolutely love it. So I can't wait to wear these once it starts to get warmer. And they also have the same in red. So you can either pick up the yellow version or the red. I don't know if there are any colors, but there could be. So do keep your eyes peeled for them. But only £1.50. They're a super fun earring and I love them. And finally, potentially what I am the most excited about, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a float. I absolutely love these inflatables. I'm like, I just love these kind of random trends that just pop up on Instagram and then all of a sudden we're all doing them. I'm all here for it. So this is an inflatable swim ring, basically like a donut, but it's got a mermaid tail sort of sticking out of it. Oh my gosh. The photos in this, I, I just I just have so many visions right now of how I'm gonna um, take photos with this on holiday. I'm so excited. But this is only seven pounds. Last year I know they had the, you know, the classic flamingo that has literally been everywhere. I think they had unicorns, loads of floats like this. I didn't see this in store just yet. I think it may be a little bit too early. Um, but it's going to be coming soon and I'm sure there are going to be loads more to choose from as well. So I'm going to keep popping in and keep looking out for these and I'm sure in my next haul I'll probably have a couple more to show you. So that was everything in this little goodie bag we got. So these were all pieces that I didn't choose myself and that I was very kindly gifted by Primark. Um, but I love them all. They're all super inexpensive so I thought I would share them with you anyway. Sorry if I sound a little bit croaky as well. I do have a little bit of a blocked nose at the moment and um I don't I don't feel sick or anything but I definitely have a blocked nose and that's coming through in my voice a little bit as well so hopefully it's not too frustrating hopefully we can look past that I'm sure we can because there is so much Primark goodness here so let's go starting off with a couple of beach bags that I spotted and simply couldn't leave without the first is this one which I absolutely love it's just black it's still that straw kind of wicker bag but um it's black which I think is very nice I feel like you can wear this in the city and it's gonna look so good it says out of office embroidered which again I think is very nice it's it's also a really great size to like fit in your laptop and things like that very good a nice travel bag I think like if you're on your way to the airport and you've got your little cabin suitcase this little out of office over the top like how nice is that gonna look um, oh, I'm already envis envisioning it um, but it's also got a little metallic clasp in there which is really great um, and I love this I thought it was very good the straps are very good so you can easily pop it over your shoulder it's a very good size um, or length um, but love and it was only eight pounds i then simply couldn't resist this one it's so nice this was also eight pounds yes this was also eight pounds and oh my gosh it looks so expensive it literally looks like it could be a designer kind of bag like it just looks so classic so classy and i love it um i think it's very nice it's just it's ultimately sort of like that straw beach bag vibe, but I think with this particular style, you can definitely wear it in the city, um, just on holiday, like day to day, you don't necessarily need to be going to the beach, if that makes sense. Um, and I absolutely love this. And for eight pounds, I just couldn't resist. So basically I went to the Primark in Hammersmith and they had a massive wall, like a display of all these straw things. So they had so many different straw bags. Um, they had so many straw hats as well. And I ended up picking up a couple, but I believe there were six on display. I tried on four of them and I came home with two. So I think I did a pretty good job there. Like, what, what do you think? Um, I absolutely love the two that I picked up as well. So the first matches the bag and I absolutely love it. I'm not too sure whether I'd wear both together. I think that may be a bit too much matchy matchy. But you know, if you don't like the bag, you can get the hat. If you don't like the hat, you can get the bag. Or if you're like me, you can just get them both. Um, and I love the way they look. Oh, it's just so nice. I really love the embroidery. I think it just stands out so much. This is 
huge like i'm sure you can tell that this is a massive hat and i have such a small head so it is a, li a, li a little bit on the big side on me but i'm more than happy with it i just think it's gonna be amazing on holiday and it was only five pounds so so good for a straw hat and then i also spotted this one which i think is my favorite it's more of the classic style and color um, and on it we just have a little lemon sewed on which is very sweet and then again we've got vacay um sewn on as well it's just so pretty like and i love that this is something that i'm going to be able to wear on holiday if i go to like a beach or a pool place or something like that but also something that i'm going to be able to wear when i go to portugal in the summer um my grandma is from the countryside so we go back to the countryside we don't go to beaches and things like that i know a lot of people think that when i say i'm going to portugal in the summer that i'm like in the Algarve and all that sort of stuff but no i'm actually from the north of portugal so um it's it's just countryside up there so we go to the countryside but i think this would look absolutely beautiful there and that one was four pounds onto my bag of goodies first up how cool are these so they're just they're just plastic like they're nothing special but they were only three pounds each um and this was a little watermelon and this was obviously a pineapple and i love them i actually bought these because my auntie and uncle have built a pool at their house in portugal which i'm very excited about so i am definitely going to be taking them up on like nice i don't know nice stuff so that i can basically use their pool all the time um but i thought these were so cool so to sort of butter them up a little bit i'm going to give them a little like beach hamper if that makes sense or like a poolside hamper um so i really hope they don't watch this video because they're it would so ruin the surprise but i don't think they will because they're not interested in what i buy from primark basically i think if i have like a really nice straw bag probably one of the primark ones like i'll probably pick up um another one so that will be my third primark straw bag um but i'll probably pick up um just one of the primark ones i want to pop in a beach towel two beach towels um these two which i think are really cool potentially even those straws because i think they'll be very fun for like some poolside drinks as well and then a little float too but i actually want to get them a flamingo float so i'm really hoping primark comes out with the flamingo ones again um but i absolutely love these i thought they'd be really nice in the hamper i picked up a gorgeous suit as well in my last haul I bought the glamour, the like glamour pick suit, which is so beautiful. I've seen so many bloggers wearing that as well. It's absolutely amazing. But I spotted this one and it was this beautiful pink and I just fell for it. So these are the trousers and they were £13. They've got a bit of that paper bag waist going on at the moment, which I think is super popular right now. And I obviously got the matching blazer and this blazer was £17. I mean, it's not the best because it's not lined or anything like that. Um, but where else are you going to get a blazer for £17? Um, so I'm not complaining. I'm more than happy with it. Um, it's got some silver buttons and the trousers also have a silver belt detail, which I would say is not my absolute favourite. I am more of a gold jewellery kind of girl and like gold accessories. With that said, I'm sure I can make this work in the summer. It will be absolutely beautiful. Um, I know that I can wear these as separates and I can wear them together. I've just been loving spring suits, particularly like coloured ones. So this one is right up my street. I also picked up some cotton buds because I get, um, whenever I put on mascara, I just get it all over my face. Um, so this is really great uh, to get rid of it. So usually every time I do my makeup in the morning, my like finishing touch is going around my eyes with a cotton bud to just get rid of any pesky mascara that got all over my face. And these were only 80p for 200. I also picked up a couple of summer dresses because basically once you see something you like in Primark, you need to pick it up because it just it just won't be there the next time you go in. So that's why these are all like quite summery and it is raining outside, but you know, like it's not my fault. The weather isn't, isn't adhering to spring. Like it is spring. So I picked up this and I think it's very beautiful. It's got some little stripes, which I always think that white and blue stripes remind me of like nautical and like the sea and things like that. Um, I got this in a size eight and it was 13 pounds. Um, it's super just like basic. It's very like flowy. There's not really any shape to it. So it's definitely like just the perfect kind of beach dress. 
um, and I absolutely loved that so I snapped it up oh I also saw this beautiful skirt it's white and lace and just got these really pretty details on it so pretty but I'm not sure about the sizing of this one because it looks very straight like very up and down um, it doesn't really cinch in at the waist and I have a smaller waist in comparison to like my hips and things um, so I need it to cinch in at the waist but the reason I didn't size down in this skirt in particular is because it's got this lace overlay and lace isn't stretchy so obviously there's no point in fitting around my waist if it doesn't fit around my hips um so we'll see whether i can make this work or not um but it was eight pounds only so it'd be really great if it did fit but we'll see i also picked up some shoes and it's been a while since i've bought shoes from primark to be fair i don't know why there's no reason in particular because i do really like primark shoes i really like their heels i always find them so comfortable um but i've been in a bit of a shoe dilemma this spring and i actually shared on my instagram Instagram, um, a picture and I was like oh I just don't know what shoes to wear for spring and I was so pleased loads of you were in the same boat as well but I also got loads of like tips and ideas and things if you don't follow me on Instagram by the way I'm just at peak so I will leave my little handle here somewhere so that you can um, just you know type that into Instagram and give me a follow if you like but I picked up these and I loved the color I just thought it was such a nice vibrant color it will look so pretty now in the UK and it will equally look just as pretty on holiday um I picked these up in a size 6, I'm a size 7, um, so I sized down just because I tried on both of them but I felt like these ones were a bit more snug and I think because the backs are elasticated in these I don't want them to stretch out too much and then be too loose so I got a 6 in the hope that they'll stretch out a little bit but even if they don't they were absolutely fine. I also got some sandals and I feel like these are definitely going to be more of a pool sandal. They're all completely fabric so even the, so the sole? Would you call this the sole? No. Even the lining, I guess, is um, fabric, which is great if you use these like by the pool or by the beach, because when you have, when like your feet are wet, um, usually if you've got a uh, rub, uh, like plasticky type sole, then your foot is just slip and sliding all over the place. So these are going to be great. Like if you're poolside and then you I don't know you want to go get a drink or you want to go grab an ice cream or something and um, these are good because you won't just be sort of sliding all over the place and they were only four pounds which is so good I also picked up this little ray of sunshine it's just a little slip dress in kind of a yellowy orangey color I'd say I love this on holiday with a tan oh my god this is gonna look amazing um but this is similar to something you'd find in the likes of Topshop where it would be like triple the price um because this is only 10 pounds which is really really good um but yeah it's just it's sort of a little bit shapeless but I quite like that in a summer dress I quite like just you know the like airy and like flouncy ones but it's also got some little strings so you can tie it up at the back and just make this so much more fitted which I absolutely love because as I said my waist tends to be my smallest part of, um on my body so it's quite nice that I can tie this up and accentuate my waist a little bit too I also picked up some new earrings because I always do apparently. Um, these, oh my god, I love them. I have loved hoops forever like I can't remember a time that I didn't wear hoop earrings and back when I started YouTube like a good few years ago now actually um but when I started I always wore hoop earrings I actually used to wear like really big ones as well sometimes I'd get comments like why do you wear hoop earrings all the time or like oh like why why are you wearing hoops I just love them like I, I just love them like I can't help it so I have genuinely been buying hoops from Primark for years and years and years but I spotted these ones and these are very like trend led right now I'm so happy hoops are trendy at the moment like it saves questions number one and also it just means there are so many hoop earrings I could buy right now so I am buying them all but I loved these they're so thick they're my usual kind of size I would say I typically go for a hoop of this diameter um oh but they're just so cool I really hope they look good on as well because ah. Uh, they're just beautiful and they were only two pounds you'll probably be thinking deja vu by seeing this dress but this is exactly the same as the blue and white stripes one I showed you but it's in this orangey red color instead which I really love now I was only meant to like get one of them but I got to the terminal and I simply couldn't decide so I ended up coming home with both of them um but I haven't tried them on so we'll see what they look like on oh but I love that look 
so beautiful again with a tan probably amazing um this again was 13 pounds so the same price it's the exact same dress it's just a sort of flouncy flowy little dress that i absolutely love and last but by no means least another pair of sandals and um, these are just brown they've got this plaited detailing so they're just your basic sandal for like every day i guess um they're also real leather which is really good because they are only eight pounds which is incredible um but yeah again i picked these up in a size six so a size smaller but that was just because they didn't have a size seven a size seven would have been obviously perfect um, but they only had a six and an eight and i really really wanted them um and i tried the eight and they were just too loose they were too big and the six is like okay i feel like i get away with it so i did end up picking them up in a size six and i'm just so happy with these and there we go a very summery haul there is an array of colors in front of me right now and a pineapple and a watermelon um but i'm so happy with everything i picked up as i said i know a lot of this stuff is very summer and um you know i don't know about you but i i don't have any holidays planned just yet once you spot something in primark you just need to pick it up because it's going to go so fast so that's what I did I've picked up all of these pieces even if I can't wear them just yet I will be wearing them very soon fingers crossed um but I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed by the way if you like this little makeup look I've got going on today I actually just filmed um I filmed it um they're all new products so all new things that I haven't yet tried and I'm basically going to be checking in throughout the day as well so um this video you will see next so it's going to be my video on Wednesday so do check back to watch that on Wednesday if you're interested to find out more about this look and with that said I think that is everything for today's video I hope you enjoyed it um do follow me on Instagram as well to see like my daily style and things like that and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.